Genesis, everybody. You know the expression, he who feels it knows it. Well, I think this is a very fitting, you know, expression to start the video with. On the screen, you're looking at someone's home. And, you know, this is not a one-off situation. This is a very common situation or setup for many people in Jamaica. Many persons who have come out of this situation and can now come back and testify to say, you know what, this was my life. This is how I grew up and it didn't break me. The aim of this video is to say, do not let your situation, your life circumstances break you. Allow them to build you. And the ones who want to remind you of where you come from as a slap in your face, you know, just ignore these ones because let's be frank. If these people had the power to keep you in this place, they would. But you know what? Have faith and trust in the most high that, you know, sometimes when we are allowed to start life in these situations and living through these circumstances, it is to create a strength within us. Do you remember in Jamaica when they would say you're black and ugly? Your own people, your own family would say these things to you and you'd be so hurt and you feel so ashamed and you want to change yourself. And years later, you're removed from that kind of mentality and brought to a place where people look at you every day and tell you that you're so beautiful. When you look in the mirror, you no longer want to strip this color from your skin and become something you're not. You get to embrace who you are because you're surrounded by positive people. People will look at you all the time and say, you're beautiful. When I was in Jamaica and I was a teen, for example, I had people telling me, pussy eye, you know, calling me puss eye or, you know, redhead or, or things about myself that I couldn't really change. And I hated that part of myself until I came to this country and I would see men and women, you know, of different race would say to me, I love your eyes. It was like, what? So people start appreciating you and you start looking back and thinking to yourself, wow, there was a time I felt bad about, you know, my living condition. I felt bad about my skin color. I felt so terrible about my weight because people use it to beat you up on your head. There's a story in the Bible that shows a woman giving birth to a child and she has to run away and she starts her life in the child was born in a stable. This is a story people, but I'm still using it as reference. And, you know, it is to show that sometimes some of us have very humble beginnings. And even though we have humble beginnings and we are humble people, you got people trying to prosecute us and, sh and trying to shame us and trying to, you know, do all kinds of stuff to make us feel horrible about yourself. Don't let anybody cause you to feel ashamed of yourself. You are beautiful regardless of your size or your, your, your shape or where you, you live or what's going on with you right now. That's not permanent. That is a temporary situation. So some people live in mansion and they're monsters. Some people can buy designer wear and these people are empty. If you have to go to show your clothing and, you know, just show off on other people about, you, about what you got, you know, these people are empty, empty, empty. And a lot of them are very, very sad. So if someone can look and see that you're hungry and see that, you know, your living condition is not the best and use that to beat you up on your head, that person is a very sad person. But listen, it doesn't matter if they're sad or they're glad or whatever. We're not going to put our, our focus on these individuals. We're going to just keep faith and know that nothing lasts forever, especially when you allow yourself to think positive, to dream big, to just not look at your condition in front of you and to continue to hold on to faith. And, you know, you pray and, of course, walk towards the things you want. Because many of the ones who try to shame you, try to degrade you, try to remind you of where you come from, 
these ones sometimes see that you are destined or destined for greatness. They see it. Sometimes they see it before you see it. And remember, the plans of the universe is greater than any plans you can create for yourself. I remember, and oftentimes the ones who go through it, they're the ones who remember, not the ones who, when, you know, used to go around them, they used to try to shame you, not the ones when you came to their house, they were ashamed of you and they scorned you. And if they were going to offer you something to eat, they would give it to you in an old pan, you know, an old uh, condensed tin can to drink from or some old vessel that they don't use because they scorned you. Why? You were clean. You were a good person or you are a good person, but they can't see past their prejudice. And so they treated you badly. These are the same ones when you are elevated now, when you go, if you were to go to visit them, they're going to take out their fine china. You're not different. Your circumstances might be different, but you are still the same person. And they're going to take out their fine china and they're going to treat you like you're a king and a queen. And when you needed them, they were not there. They want to embrace you and accept you. But when you were living in that little house we show at, at the front there, they didn't remember you. They, they, all of a sudden you're important when you drive up in your nice car and you step out. All of a sudden you're Mr. and you're Miss. Whoever hear that, all of a sudden you're this important person. You are as important as anyone else. You are beautiful. Don't let anybody tell you that you're ugly. Because if someone goes out of their way to tell you something like that, to be so cruel and to be so disrespectful, that person is very sad. That person, life is not good. People who are happy, happy people spread happiness. Sad people, they look for people who they can tear down. They're looking for somebody to make that person feel worse than how they feel about themselves. Okay? Your clothes does not make you. The house you live in doesn't define you. Okay? And the, the color of your skin doesn't determine where you're going or who you can become. Okay? So I want you to remember that. And your condition is temporary. Even if somebody is very wealthy, that could be a very temporary state. That is a temporary state because there's going to come a day when you have to leave that behind. So whatever you're going through, understand it's temporary. And when it is temporary, you know, it allows you to just center yourself in what is most important. And it is growing spiritually. That's the most important thing. Not what you look like on the outside, not where you live, not what you're eating or what you're not eating. All of that is temporary. Things will change and must change. So many of our people are so prejudiced. We attack our own. We have no empathy or any sympathy for our own people. But listen, don't let them tear you down. Don't let them erode your, self, your confidence. Or, or tear away your self-esteem. You have to build it up. Every time they try to tell you something to make you feel bad about yourself, you cancel that with a positive thought. You're ugly. No, I'm beautiful. You know, you're so poor. No, I'm not. I'm very wealthy. You're hungry. I am full. I'm satisfied with my crackers and my water going to bed tonight. I'm not going to go out of my way to do anything to try to impress anybody. Because a lot of these ones who try to make you feel bad about yourself, the things that they're prepared to do, you are not. And when you come out of that, and when you start walking to your blessings, and you start looking towards the light, I call it, they're going to see you. And you're going to also see them. And you're going to remember, they forget or they think you forget. You will never forget their disrespect. You will never forget their unkindness. But you're not going to focus on them and, you know, their nonsense. You're going to remember how you met other persons who loved you and shared with you and encouraged you. These are the ones you're going to go back to and say thank you for the kind word. 
Thank you for the encouragement. Thank you for the time when you reminded me that I'm all this and then some. Isn't it awesome? Yes. And when you look back now at the little one room that you used to live in and you look at, you know, the time when you had no clothes or you had no food, you know, but you always had hope. You always had a dream that no one could cancel. That is most important. Don't be sad and feel ashamed and saying, you know, I'm living in this part of the world and they don't like my skin. I wish I was a different color. I would be better off. I, you know, I would have more opportunities. You can get any opportunity in any skin that you're in. You can climb out of any situation as long as you have the right attitude. As long as you know that everything is possible, it starts with a dream. And when you document that dream and you walk towards that dream, nothing can stand in your way. Nothing can separate you from the love of your God. Nothing. And when people start to say, ah, you'll never become anything or make fun of your condition or your situation, that is your time to stand up and shake it off and say, no, you're wrong. You're wrong and put your heel in and be more determined to succeed. Because success is one's ability to recognize what is important to them, walk towards it. And even before you see it, claim it, claim it as yours. And I'm going to say, it's not that you should constantly think about the ones who, you know, hurt you in the past and, you know, shamed you in the past. But you don't want to forget them either because these are the ones that when you are rising and you get to the top of your podium, they're going to be there acting like they were there cheering you on. And, and, and you remember a different story. You remember that you were in the stadium and you were all by yourself. And sometimes there was no one around to, to encourage you or to cheer you on. And you were running that race as if you had a million people watching that's how you have to live your life. You have to just have faith and trust and believe in yourself to say that I can do this. I am capable. I am able. Or this is going to change. Or this is not my reality. You have to encourage yourself too. Yeah, it's nice to have others encourage you. But what if there isn't anyone to encourage you? Are you going to give up? You cannot give up. You have to encourage yourself. You have to remind yourself that I am beautiful. I am wealthy. Everything you want to be, you claim it and you say, I am. I have this. I am doing this. You can't wait for somebody else to come and encourage you because a lot of times we are around negative people who will not encourage us. They'll easy or easily remind you of why things cannot happen, why they won't happen, why you shouldn't think this way, why you must face reality. And so you encourage yourself. You have faith. You stay steadfast in what you believe. And you feel good about yourself. Don't shame your creator by saying I'm not in the right body and I don't look the way I'm supposed to look. That is disrespectful to your maker. Accept yourself. Start looking at yourself through a different lens. Not what they tell you, but what the creator told you. Because the fact that you're here and you're alive and you're beautiful and you wake up every morning and you're healthy. Oh, what a blessing that is. And if you're even born with some disability, still love yourself. Because if you were not special, you would not be here. Okay. And so I'm going to encourage everybody here who feel, you know, some kind of way about their situation or, you know, the way they look and you want to change your looks. Leave yourself alone. You're beautiful. You're perfectly made. You're wonderfully created. And your future is beautiful. It's bright. You're not seeing it right now. But trust me, trust and believe things are going to change. Things have changed for so many people who never thought they would come out of their poverty would never thought that that day when they're hungry would just be a day behind them would never believe that they'll be able to buy their home and live in a place where they feel good to invite somebody would not feel ashamed anymore of where they come from just stay strong and stay blessed